So tell me a little bit about the show. It's called Connected, and you've got all these rope props going all over the place. Tell me a little bit about that. Yeah, um, the concept itself, um, you know, quite simply, we're out there with tons of bungee cords and some, and we've got tarps that, that sort of connect all of our props to themselves. We have kids that tether. That was kind of one of the big concepts that we started out with was tethering and things like that. So they latch onto props with these bungee cords. Um, they're things that, big, big braided bungee cords that run off the middle truss systems at the end and just kind of played on connecting all the elements visually um, together. Where did this concept come from? Like where, where was the, the initial like? We've been doing, the past several years our shows have been sort of, it's just a dark color scheme more than anything else. And so I wanted to do something very colorful using uh, as much color as we possibly could to kind of brighten up our palette. So um, in Nashville, there's a Nick Cave art exhibit that's kind of been touring the country, but it's uh, at museums there. And they had sort of this string art that was super cool. I mean, it was like incredible, very colorful. So I got online and just started looking at string art, which I never had before. But it's like a thing. It's totally a thing. And I just, on a whim, I was like, string art, maybe it's a thing. And it was. Um, so we kind of looked at a lot of those designs, and it kind of played with forced perspective a little bit. And it was just really, really colorful. So that's where um, sort of the inspiration was. And we've got a set of great prop dads and um, one of our main prop people, um, Jason Valancourt, he kind of came up with some designs and those those front sort of octagon things uh, turned out really, really cool. So we just used a ton of paracord. We, we reused a ton of props that we already had, kind of cut them up and, and, and uh, redesigned them and some of the frames and stuff. So it turned out really, really well. Now, so that's a lot of the, the visual aspect mm -hmm. of, of what you're looking at in the yeah. show. What was it about the musical selections that you found? It's you, girl. Oh, I'm hearing this, but I'm seeing sure. this. Sure, uh, Neil Carnucci, uh does our our, our arrangements, um, and we work really um, kind of hand in hand, kind of going through a lot of music and listening. A lot of times, it's we're looking for moods and stuff and just tunes that we really like. I mean, I, I hate to oversimplify it, but that's sort of what it is, and and. Uh, you know, with our instrumentation, with our size, we have to think about things that will work for us. And so this year we kind of wanted to go with a, a little bit more aggressive, percussive, stabby um, production and, and obviously incorporate in, you know, really lush musical shaping any and everywhere we can. It's just a little bit harder. We have 28 wins. And so with 28 wins, it's hard to sustain like a 24 count phrase, you know, without breaking it and really just building that intensity emotion. So we just got to do what we do well. Um, and those tunes fit, fit it really well. And um, we've just been listening to a bunch of stuff. That's, that's what we kind of landed on. And then obviously the stereo MCs thing is just like made for it. Get yourself connected. Like it was, it was perfect for it. So um, that's just kind of how we landed on, on the tunes. I mean, it's, it's just sort of, pretty easy stuff you know just listen to a lot of stuff and see what kind of sticks with you um last thing the the designing for a smaller group what what are some of the things that you have to really kind of keep in mind that that people who are designing for you know 250 300 sure, piece sure, bands sure people aren't thinking about. yeah i mean it's always like the the biggest debate like trying to create effect both musically and visually with again 28 wins and we're we're pretty imbalanced wins to percussion we've got like I think 24, 25 percussion. I mean, it's 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 crazy. Like it's almost a one to one a ratio. So, um, a a lot of what we do visually came from uh, kind of transition in 2008 and stopped fighting the fight of wearing a shako and wearing the normal band uniform and and just going out and trying to be like everybody else to try to sort of form our own identity. The first thing we did was sort of frame off the field uh, because it is without anything to frame that off, it is expansive out there for a group our size. So we brought our performance area in and, and kind of made our own little little boundary lines that worked well for us, that kept the wind players, you know, able to move and, and do creative drill um, and, and, and kind of bring in those visual components, but still didn't have it spread out, really set us up if we needed to for, for big block forms on, on when we want power and things like that. Uh, we try to, I mean, we do a different themed uniform every year. 
uh, that, that fits the concept so that we're constantly changing and evolving and doing things specific to that show, um, which is, you know, it's becoming more and more standard, even with big bands nowadays. But, you know, for a while we were like, oh man, look, we have our own little identity and our own little thing. Um, hope no big bands ever figure it out. Uh, so that's sort of catching up. But we just try to make our own little universe, you know, as best we can and, and just try to do things that the kids can be successful with and that will translate well up into the stands to so the judges and things like that. So um, it was, it's, you know, the process has definitely evolved over the years, but um, that's kind of how we landed on, on how we design things.